Vitiligo is a skin condition that causes loss of pigmentation or color in some patches on the skin. The patches can appear anywhere on the body and can vary in size and shape. Vitiligo is not contagious. It is an autoimmune disorder, which means it occurs when the immune system attacks the body's own tissues. The loss of pigmentation in vitiligo is caused by the destruction of melanocytes, the cells that produce melanin, which gives color to the skin, hair, and eyes. In this video, we will discuss the types, symptoms, diagnosis, and treatment of vitiligo. Types of vitiligo There are two main types of vitiligo, non-segmental and segmental vitiligo. Non-segmental vitiligo is the most common type and it occurs when the loss of pigmentation is widespread and symmetrical on both sides of the body. It can also be further classified into the following subtypes. 1. Generalized vitiligo this type involves the loss of pigmentation in many areas of the body, including the face, hands, arms, and legs. 2. Acrofacial vitiligo. This type involves the loss of pigmentation in the face, fingers, and toes. 3. Mucosal vitiligo. This type involves the loss of pigmentation in the mucous membranes, such as the lips, mouth, and genital area. 4. Universal vitiligo. This type involves the loss of pigmentation in almost all areas of the body. Segmental vitiligo, on the other hand, is less common and occurs when the loss of pigmentation is limited to only one side of the body. This type is more seen in children and it usually lasts for one or two years, then it stops progressing. Symptoms of vitiligo. The main symptom of vitiligo is the loss of pigmentation in patches on the skin. These patches can be small or large and can appear on any part of the body. The patches may start as small pale areas that gradually become whiter and more visible over time, and the edges of the patches may be well-defined or blurred. In some cases, the patches may be itchy or sensitive to sunlight. Vitiligo can also affect the hair on the scalp, eyebrows, eyelashes, and other areas, causing them to turn white. Diagnosis of vitiligo. If you suspect you have vitiligo, you should see a dermatologist for an evaluation. The dermatologist will examine your skin and ask you questions about your symptoms and medical history. In some cases, the dermatologist may perform a skin biopsy to confirm the diagnosis. During a skin biopsy, a small sample of skin is removed and examined under a microscope to look for signs of vitiligo. Treatment of vitiligo Although there is no cure for vitiligo, there are several treatments available to help improve the appearance of the skin. Some of the most common treatments for vitiligo include 1. Topical corticosteroids These medications are applied directly to the skin to help reduce inflammation and promote repigmentation. They are most effective when used on small, localized areas of vitiligo. 2. Sorolin Plus Ultraviolet AA Therapy, PUVA. This treatment involves taking a medication called Sorolin, which makes the skin more sensitive to light, and then exposing the skin to ultraviolet A light. This helps stimulate repigmentation of the skin. 3. Topical Calcineurin Inhibitors. These medications are also applied directly to the skin and work by suppressing the immune system to help prevent further loss of pigmentation. They are most effective when used on sensitive areas of skin, such as the face or genitals. Surgical treatments are another option for people with vitiligo who have not responded to other forms of treatment. Examples of surgical treatments for vitiligo include 1. Skin grafting Vitiligo procedure, is a skin condition skin that causes is loss of pigmentation of or color and transplanted to the skin. of skin affected by vitiligo. The patches can appear anywhere. The transplanted skin contains melanocytes, which can help restore pigmentation to the affected areas. 2. Micro skin grafting. This technique involves removing small samples of healthy skin from the patient's body and processing them into a liquid suspension that can be applied to the affected areas of skin using a spray gun or brush. The melanocytes in the grafts can then migrate into the surrounding skin and promote repigmentation.